Hi, uh, my name is Toby Xu. Uh, again, I'm the pre-sales manager for financial services here at Informatica. Today, I'm going to do a data validation option demo. So one of the key uh, scenarios for DBO is to detect changes in the values of um, source and target. So in this scenario, we have two schemas, DBO demo source and DBO demo target. And each of the schema has uh, nine tables and they're identical. So we are in the data validation client right now and I created a folder SVV demo value changes. Uh, what I did was I came into action, compare tables, and I put in all the uh, necessary fields, repository, the folder, and the subfolder. So everything from the source and target are almost identical, except I'm getting the source uh, metadata on the source folder and then a target metadata in the uh, target folder. And also I have to pick the uh, different connections so that we can connect to the underlying schema. Uh, everything, all the tests will be created within this uh, folder, SVB demo value changes. Uh, and then we are including count uh, and all the value tests. So I click on finish. And by doing that, nine table pairs are generated automatically for me. Uh, I did rename them so to keep them unique. And then also at the same time, all the value tests, the count tests are uh, uh, generated automatically as well. Uh, so just by doing this one-time configuration, um, you can generate everything that you pretty much need. Uh, so at this point, I just uh, selected all the table pairs, all the tests, and I right click um, and run, ta run test. And they all pass without any surprise. Of course, the data uh, should be the same, right? So now, next step is for me to uh, modify some data so that we can detect those changes. The first thing I want is to come into the customer table on the source schema. And I'm gonna randomly pick, let's say the first row, I'm gonna change the knowledge balance from 4,005 uh, 4, to 4,005. And then row 20, I'm gonna change this person's, let's say uh, nationality from Brazil to USA. And let's do one more change on the passport, uh, the last, digit I change from zero to nine. So I make three changes. I'm gonna come in, save the changes. And I also wanna make one change on the target. So um, let's go into the address table. I'm gonna pick uh, row five. I'm gonna change the state from California to New York. And I'm gonna save that. So total, I make three, uh, three changes on the source and one change on the target. So let's go back to the tool. I'm going to select uh, everything and I'm gonna rerun the test. So because we already deploy and install all the um, mapping behind the scene into Power Center, so this time everything should be pretty quick. Uh, uh, so less than 10 seconds, all the tests completed with four errors, right? Let's take a look at each one of them. The first one is state. Uh, this is the, actually the last change I make on the target. I change from California to uh, New York. Um, this one is mileage challenge. That was the first change I make uh, from 4,000 to 4,005. Uh, I also make the change on nationality from Brazil to USA, and then the passport from uh, this number to uh, the last digit to be nine. So all of these things are being validated. Um, so I can highlight them again, and right click and generate a report. Uh, I have choice to select summary, table pair summary, or detailed test results. I'm gonna just do the first one and I'm gonna run test and they should show up, 
Okay. So here is the test result. I have a um, total of nine table pairs. Seven of them pass without any issues. Two of them did not pass. One is customer, the other is address. So that pass rate is 78%. From an individual test cases perspective, the total of 64, all 60 uh, of them pass, and then four fail, right? These are the uh, mileage uh, balance, nationality, uh, passport number, and um, also the state. Okay, so the report is pretty accurate and you can share that with anyone uh, if you want to. So that completes my demo today. Uh, thank you for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, reach out to me and we can set up another time. Uh, thank you and goodbye.